By a show of hands, how many of you have heard of Tony the Tiger, the Frosted Flakes mascot? Mm -hmm. All right. What about the Pillsbury Doughboy and the adorable noise that he makes when we focus on? All right. <laughs> well, those characters were developed by the Leo Burnett Advertising Agency, and I bet you never thought about who created them or the effects they had on the advertising world, but they really had a huge impact. So I want to work at the Leo Burnett Advertising Agency one day, and I've researched the company, so today I hope to share with you that research by informing you of the history of the company, why they were so revolutionary, and what the company is doing today. Let's begin by looking at the history of the company first. According to Funding Universe, Leo Burnett was founded in 1935. Leo Burnett took one of his clients with him from the advertising agency he worked at previously, and that client was the Minnesota Valley Canning Company. Now you may not know of that company, but to reward them, Leo created the Jolly Green Giant, which I bet you have heard of before and you've seen him on cans. So from there, everyone saw the success of this huge advertising campaign, so he gained clients and he kept gaining clients, but 1950 was their big break, because in 1950, they gained the, they gained the clients Kellogg's and Procter & Gamble. You've all probably eaten a Kellogg's product and you've all probably used a Procter & Gamble product before. These were two huge companies that joined on board with Leo Burnett due to his success. But Leo Burnett was so successful because of the revolution that he started in advertising. So I'll talk to you about the revolution that he started. Leo Burnett is based in Chicago, which is a revolution in itself. Most advertising agencies were founded in New York City. And they were all on the East Coast. Most of them had the idea of, I am the advertiser, you are the consumer, I am above you, my product is above you. Leo Burnett said, let's change that. Let's make that gap smaller, so that way people can think they can actually afford our products and they want to use them. So according to his website, Leo said that every product has an inherent drama, and it's up to the consumer and the advertiser to find that drama and bring it out. <coughs> so the drama of Pillsbury, you might not have to think of, would be that little Pillsbury doughboy. But in fact, Pillsbury is a very um, down-to-earth company. They really want to make you feel at home. So by creating the Pillsbury doughboy, he brought up the inherent drama of the product that was already there, and he made you realize that this was something that you want to use in your home, a friendly product. By minimizing that gap, he has made many products affordable to all of us, and his agency still continues that work today. Now we'll talk a little bit about what the company is doing today. As I said, Leo Burnett started with one office. Well, today, he has multiple offices in 97 countries. So it's a huge worldwide corporation now, but it started from very humble beginnings. Some of their clients now include McDonald's, Hallmark, Allstate, I went to The Voice, Coca-Cola, Walt Disney, and Visa. So some very big clients have advertised with Leo Burnett because of the revolution he started. Leo Burnett is also famous for its company retention of employees because Leo Burnett encouraged his employees to take risks. He famously once said, reach for the stars. You might not get one, but you won't come up with a handful of mud either. And because of that, Leo Burnett's employees are comfortable working there, and they're comfortable with taking risks that Leo Burnett provided to them. Today, we have discussed the Leo Burnett Advertising Agency and the effects they've had on the advertising world. I hope that through my speech, you have learned the history of the Leo Burnett Advertising Agency, the revolution they started in the field of advertising, and the current clients and their company today. So the next time you see that adorable Pillsbury Doughboy, or Tony the Tiger, or the Jolly Green Giant, Please remember where they came from and the revolution they started. Thank you. Three forty miles.